Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use steel joints design in Fem Design software. You can either find steel joints design as integrated part in Fem Design 3D structure, or you can use the steel joints standalone version. I'm going to start this video by showing the different steel joints types you can use or design in femdesign in the standalone version that I'm now, now going to open. Here you can see all the joint types that you can model and design in femdesign. We have column splice and all the different options for those column splice joints. We have beam splice here and all the different options. We also have column base joints here. We have beam to beam connections. We have beam to column connections. And we have knee connections. And last we have bracing connections here. So these are all the steel joints types that can be designed in femdesign. You can either design them here by adding loads and pro <coughs> profiles by hand, or if you have integrated version of steel joints, you can do it in your 3D structure, where we are going to go back now and show how it is done in the 3D. So here we have the same structure that we have when showing the steel design module, but now we are going to look into steel joints. So what we are going to do first is define a joint, and here you can see all the options that we see saw in the standalone version, and now I'm going to select the beam to column joint. First, I'm going to click the column, then the beam, and then now I have the available solutions in this case. I'm going to select this one. And now you can see that the steel joint is actually modeled in my 3D structure. It appears in a red color currently because I haven't checked it yet. Now I'm going to do the same for this one, and I can see that I have the steel joint designed in there. And now what we can do next, we can either, we can use the manual design, where we can see all the calculations that are done for our joint, and we can also change, for example, we can change the uh, welds of this joint and we can change end plate size and we can also change the bolt or the bolt size here. We are going to go back to 3D structure and check what we can see when we set in the display steel joint utilization display and now I'm going to check here and now it appears in a green color and with detailed results I can once again go into documentation and I can see all the starting parameters or the geometry of my joint. I can see the forces acting on that joint and I can see the design checks that are done to that joint. What I can also do is I can select here steel joint and I can select forces and display. And now I can see forces acting on that steel joint there. This was all for this video or this lesson. I hope you enjoyed and learned how to use steel joints in femdesign and see you in the next video.